Hello everyone, welcome back to Saber Outdoors. I, of course, am your wonderful host, Mark Alexander, and today we're at Dick's Sporting Goods. No funny no stuff in the comments. By the way, I noticed I, like half of you aren't subscribed. Why are you not subscribed? I'm a great person, great host. I'm here at Dick's. I'm gonna take those jokes just so that I can entertain you. Anyways, um, I'm gonna do the $10 budget challenge here at Dick's. I'm gonna ask them if I can film. They say yes, that's what you'll see. And if they say no, I'll see you at the table. All right, guys, so we made it to the house. No, they did not let us film in there. And I'm gonna fully be transparent like I always am. That video that you saw outside of Dick's was filmed many months ago. And uh, guys, I've been busy. I mean, you've been watching the channel. I've been like, boom, 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 boom. Like as soon as I get one thing, thing out of the way, I'm on to the next one. After I get that out of the way, I'm on to the next one. And guys, I got a little bit, bit busy and had this laying back, just doing nothing for probably around about six months. But uh, actually probably closer to eight. But guys, I've got my, got my Ray seat here. Now, we ended up spending total $9.97. Guys, for a $10 challenge, you cannot get any closer before tax. Now, tax pushed us over, but where tax is different in various locations, we're not going to include tax. Because if you're in somewhere like Delaware, you have no tax. Tennessee has 9% ta tax and uh, Kentucky 6 So it, it could be something else where you are. But uh, before tax, we're three pennies from 10 bucks. I could not have mathed it out any better. But I'm going to lay my receipt over and I'm going to use it for reference as we're talking about our three baits that we picked up. Now, remember, $10 challenge, so all three of these baits were inside that $9.97. So, let's just pick out, at random, first bait. We have some big bite baits, stick baits. So, we've got five inch, what color does it say? Does it say, it says assorted. I don't know what that means. Is that the color or not? But... You can see what they look like there. Lots of gold and green, uh, green speckle, and the base color's kind of like a really dark green, like even darker than what you would expect for a green pumpkin. I think this is going to be a nice bait for uh, for just hopping along the bottom, or I might even drag this on the bottom. I don't know, but this is definitely probably going to go on a uh, Texas rig, and we're going to work it on the bottom. We might put it on a lit. Uh, 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 we might put it on a weightless Texas rig and we might use it like a fluke to dart back and forth. I just don't know how I'm going to do that, but this has lots of options. Stick bait has infinite options for it. <coughs> now, we've also got a tiny black and blue spinner bait from uh, Strike King. <coughs> Ooh, I about died there. Guys, this should be be a smashing little thing. It's got that tiny little Colorado blade. I think this is going to be the first thing that I throw because this looks like money. But uh, but guys, if you're not throwing a little small spinner bait like. It, whenever you're not catching anything, a small spinner bait, if you just like to chuck and wind, that is what I throw. And uh, I usually throw it in white, but black and blue is a good color as well. But uh, I forgot to tell you the price of things. So the price of the stick baits were $2. The price of the Strike King was $2. Two fifty. Now we're going to get to our big ticket item. And uh, just because it cost a lot doesn't mean it is uh, a big thing. So we have a tiny Z-Man flashback. Um, flashback chatterbait. Now guys, it comes with these white things. Instead of having a skirt, which in this size, I don't know 
what they could do in this size with a skirt. They have just white soft plastic, uh, are they paddle tails or straight tails? They're split tails. So uh, these were our big money item for this particular challenge. And uh, let me see here, they were $5.50. Now guys, stuff sometimes costs money, but that's the bait that I have a lot of confidence in, that little small chatterbait. But guys, we've talked enough. Let's go use them. All right, guys, we've made it to our pond. We're using our black and blue spinner bait like I said I would and we're trying that out on our lose reactor speed stick that we tested out not long ago let's see how how we do today guys have tried all over the place but they just don't seem to be interested in the spinner bait so we're gonna change baits all right so we've got us our little big bite stick bait on we got a little weight on the top and uh we're gonna throw that around for a little while and see what we can get into let's see first off can i skip it back underneath this limb real good let's make sure i don't no i can just throw it directly into it thankfully it's texas rigged let's reel it back in and try our luck again because uh yes i can skip it way under there so we're gonna play along with all this brush around here and see if we can catch one. Oh, i had a bite maybe i need to go weightless with this didn't look like nothing but a bluegill but hey it's still exciting i love that little hook channel that this has in it Guys, it just doesn't seem to be happening at spot one today, so we're going to go to spot two. All right, guys, we're at spot two. Still throwing our uh, weighted Texas rig. It's a really lightweight, but it's a weighted Texas rig. Guys, we're going to try our luck throwing it around here for a little while. Well, guys, we have given this worm now two different locations and a good try at both so we're going to change from this so this is neat i didn't realize this is a straight tail you know fork tail it doesn't have much motion but it comes with a curly tail as well that's really neat and look at how it shines you can see that it's so pretty but guys we're going to throw this on and we're going to get start giving it a try all right guys so uh bait's on so let's give it a quick short throw Ooh, that should be a dominate tar oh i'm on <laughs> well i think we found what they're on guys let's get him off oh tore up my hands that hook just fell out of his mouth but guys there's our first fish of the day. Can you tell I'm happy? I'm happy. See ya. And he's gone. Guys, let's get back after it. Well, I guess we're going to have to go to day two. All right, guys. It's late in the day, but we're going to try and see if we can make something happen. I've got our, uh, our black and blue Strike King uh, spinner bait on, little micro bait micro spinner bait if i can get it all out but let's just uh see what we can do with this it may just end up coming back as a little slime ball but i'm going to try and keep it relatively high in the water column and see if that will purchase me some time with this okay yeah we can make this work let's uh see what we can do hey look at there Mr. Pakistani Outdoors has got him one. Not a bad one for this little place. Looks like a pretty little healthy one. Yeah, I would say so. Look at how thick the tail is. Mm -hmm. Big, thick body all the way through. He doesn't thin out no worse. Nice one. <laughs> All right, we're going to do the gram. Going to get some grams here. There, I took a bunch. You can pick one you like the best. Oh, 
Oh, I'm on. He hit that thing just as soon as it hit the water. Well, guys, I'm on the board. He's littling, but I'm proud to have him. Look at that. Tiny little old fish. But I'm proud to have a little fish rather than no fish. Goodbye. And he's off and away. All right, guys. So we fished until it got flat dark. And uh, I tried and tried and tried. I got a few bi bites on the... Uh, on the big bite stick bait. The, uh, what do they call their stick bait? <clears throat> Just says stick. So the big bite stick. We tried with it. Guys, a stick bait is super versatile, su super good at, if you want to wacky rig it or regular, or uh, I'll tell you, if it hadn't have been so, so, so nasty, S nasty, nasty. <coughs> I was going to cut one in half and I was going to use it like a Ned rig. But it was so super messy at that place. The last place we fished at, there wasn't no chance at an exposed hook. Unless you saw like I used this uh, spinnerbait. I used it to, uh, used it, buzzed it right underneath of the, the water's, the top of the water. My lord, words. I cannot get them out tonight. But I buzzed it right against the top of the water, and even still then, I still caught some of that moss. Um, definitely the lure I like the most is the little micro, uh, micro chatterbait. Guys, this chatterbait is a dominating little chatterbait. This th thing is dangerous if you are a bass because it it comes through there it's small compact but it has that same chatter as it's coming through the water uh let me tell you this is going in the big box it's going in my bag because this is a dynamite little setup but guys this is proof you can take ten dollars ten whole big smackaroos and go fishing. Guys, I cannot say this enough. Get out. Go on an adventure. There's no reason that you, you at home, couldn't be doing exactly what I'm doing. Spend 10 bucks, buy a license, buy a rod. And you could be, be fishing and catching bass left and right. But uh, guys, that's all there is for this video. Please like, share, subscribe, comment, hit the bell notification, and subscribe. We are pushing for a thousand subscribers. If you've made it this far, why not just do it? Uh, subscribe. There's no reason not to. It don't cost nothing. It don't hurt nobody. Your friends might even like you more if you watch more of my content. Because you're going to learn some cool stuff, and then you're going to do that cool stuff in front of them. And they're going to be like, oh my god, how did you learn that cool stuff? But, uh, guys, all there is left to say is thank you for watching. We'll see you somewhere in the woods or on the water.